in this tutorial we're gonna make this animation let's keep the motion tracking aside and let's see how i made this animation first let's model the base just a cube with basic modeling let's add an empty and move the cube on x-axis add a mirror modifier to the cube and select the empty next add a bevel modifier by increasing the segments and decreasing the amount for the bottom part i'm just adding a boolean cut to the cube then apply every modifier to the cube now it's time to model the belt first let's add a path and scale it so it fits within the base do to edit mode duplicate the path grab it on z axis then select the last two vertices and join them together now add a plane and add some wedge loops maybe 30 are your wish then add a array modifier to the plane and add a curve modifier in the curve object select the curve then increase the array count and scale it accordingly so it fits within the curve then add a cylinder in between the belt as a support and you can add any extra objects to it if you want i want to make it simple so i am going with this one and for the shading part i am adding a road texture to it and it's really looking cool and i have added a noise texture to the roughness with some color ramp for the base i have added a metallic shader and a noise texture to the bump now it's time for animation for the character i have downloaded it from xamo it's really a cool website where you will get pre-rigged character animations select the character go to animation and search for running I'm selecting the first one and turn on in place. Now download it. Now import the FBX file into Blender. The animation will stop at 20 frames. So copy paste the keyframes. As it is cyclic, you will get a perfect loop. Now let's animate the belt. For that, I have animated the texture location on x-axis. Go to first keyframe, press I to insert the keyframe. Then go to the last keyframe, change the value and add an another keyframe. There you go, I have animated the belt. If you are rendering this in cycles and got some shading issues, just remove the node that is connected to alpha. And if you think it's very reflective, then add a color ramp to the roughness and play with it until it looks good. Now render the animation.